so here we are in save the world they got a lot of cosmetic upgrades i'm assuming everything you own in battle royale you can now use in save the world so this is basically telling me i'm using the ice king constructor but now i can essentially put whatever i want on there and use him as that constructor the only thing i don't understand right now is i haven't like played any games yet how are other people gonna know like what constructor you're playing etc because you can't see them anymore i'm sure it's still gonna show their role as a constructor i don't know why triggerfish is showing right here i'm not even wearing that but if i was playing Midas midas over here let's just say this is what i'm wearing if i go into a game right now wearing midas but i have the ice king constructor selected is it actually gonna show my teammates what i'm doing i'm just gonna do a ride the lightning and kind of see what it looks like on the hud display in game it's gonna say i'm a constructor but are people gonna know which one i am specifically and like what my abilities are i don't know it says i'm an ice king here but this is just like the skin it's showcasing beetle jazz these are my different loadouts here look at how he stands for mega base <laughs> oh he's got the mega base pose too yeah archaeologist be standing like that yes this is really big for save the road though man save the world gets literally zero love and i've dipped my foot and saved the world obviously i think i'm 103 in the game so i'm assuming it would just say that i was a constructor to everyone else in the game this is a new i haven't even played since the new interface here with season two but this looks a little different for sure but this is huge man i would love to do some save the world combos now and see what we can come up with my combo is not very good right now <laughs> with this back bling but i'm playing as a constructor as midas right now which is really really cool and now that we're in the game here it does not actually turn the weapons gold like it does in br for midas that's another little myth we just busted right here weapons will not turn gold in midas's hands in save the world but it will do it in br still so i've been kind of messing around with how this works and essentially whatever hero you have equipped either in your loadout like for example if i go to heroes i just have like a basic loadout here with no customizations in my loadout number seven so i have the ranger dead eye skin which means when i come to my locker that's the outfit i will have and his back bling will be there assuming that hero has a back bling that's how you actually get like you don't have this back bling to just select in here these are only your br back blings but once you have that hero selected you can now use the ranger dead eye on anything you would like so i have some favorited ones here which looks really good with this back bling we have carbide criterion the fusion outfit omen the ice king it looks really nice this back bling is really cool grimbles focus infinity the bunny wolf alpine ace great britain alpine ace original the trilogy and the wave breaker so i'm gonna go through some of the heroes that i have here try to find some of the ones that i actually like in terms of their back blings and try to find some pretty cool combos here like power base nox has a back bling 100 percent and i also noticed here that he has edit styles now i don't know if these are different power base nox things in the game and save the world i don't know a lot about the cosmetics but he does have edit styles here so the only downfall i think right now so see now i have his back bling here he has edit styles for that as well so some of them have edit styles on their back blings i don't think the back bling scale to the outfit you're wearing so let me find a really small character that thing looks ginormous on her i don't think they actually scale to the character like they do in br for like male and female but we could find some pretty interesting combos here <laughs> with the save the world back blings 
and i'm like i said i'm super happy for save the world players that are super dedicated to save the world only obviously um i don't play a lot of save the world but this is really giving them a lot more flexibility and it'll, it'll just make the game feel fresh i guess you could say it'll make it feel fresh for them because it's something different that they can visually see in the game so we have machinist harper here her back bling is pretty aggressive looking look at this one Ooh, i kind of like that one i kind of like this one though we don't have anything like that in br that's like super rustic looking her edit styles Ooh, she has some different ones with the goggles on nice legendary epic rare so it goes off of their rarities for her, her excuse me her actual colors um so with her back bling here i'm thinking fly trap actually is not the worst wow there's so much you could do now and save the world i might just have to dedicate like a whole video to save the world combos now that looks great that looks pretty decent yes please those look really good this is exciting dude that looks 10 out of 10 dude that looks really good 10 out of 10 wow but this is huge like cosmetics are literally what make fortnite so successful with being able to put out their tournament winnings and everything for people and there's huge cash prizes it's all from cosmetics and i don't think people understand cosmetics keep the game alive that's how fortnite is so successful and so profitable is from their cosmetics in the game and i think that they implementing this in to save the world they're just going to make more money now because now save the world players are going to want to use something in save the world which is a really good business strategy for save the world now because now they can use what they buy in pr and save the world not only the weapon wraps and the harvesting tools now but now the actual uh outfits as well and back blinks like if i want to put a back bling for example on a skin that you wouldn't normally be able to which is like anything here ranger dead i will just use again for an example i can put any back bling i want for my br locker now on him as well which is huge i'm not really sure what i would wear on him my man's wearing some blue jeans maybe some blue maybe some white for his kicks how about ignition hot and fresh out your kitchen with his white shoes i'm just saying man Fortnite's gonna make more money now and i don't know why it took so long to kind of implement this no it doesn't match at all but it's a stretch but this is really huge this looks like it's to scale on him the constructor back blings though do not look to scale i'm just gonna choose um somebody that i don't have leveled up which i'm assuming has a back bling in the game i'm assuming he would have a back bling i'm just saying so i'm gonna equip him and see if it gives me the option for his back bling hmm i don't know i'm assuming this character actually has a back bling in the game but since i don't have him leveled enough to have the back bling i don't get to use it until i have that appropriate level master grenade ramirez here so i don't actually have her back bling right now because she's not a high enough level that i've leveled her up to master master here she is so i know she has a back bling but I'm gonna come over to my locker now and it's gonna say, okay, since you don't have the back bling unlocked yet, you can't use her. So I'm gonna actually upgrade her uh, real quick. Where is she at? I just had her. I think I have enough drop her rain and stuff. Let's evolve her. I should get the back bling on the three star. So now I have her back bling, which looks like this. Okay, very cool. Now, if I go into my locker, I should be able to have her back bling to use for combos and save the world so that's how it works guys whatever hero you have equipped like basically in your loadout is going to be the one that shows up in your locker so i can't change her right now like if i wanted to change like to a different uh hero i can't do it right here so i i think it can be worked on maybe you can have your hero loadouts in your locker to make it more uh viable to use and more quickly to use like hey maybe up here you can have like hero loadouts one through seven or somewhere up here so you can actually just do it here instead of coming over here and saying okay i want to change my loadout i want to use my ice king loadout 
And since I want to edit my Ice King, I have to actually have him equipped in my hero loadout there. And then I can edit my Ice King and have him be whatever I want to actually use him in the game. So I think there's a lot of things they can also improve, but this is a really good jump in the right direction. Um, I apologize if this was kind of like a very raw and uncut edit because I really didn't edit a lot here, but a ton of possibilities and save the world i want to like take some time here and find some interesting combos thank you guys so much for watching that is piz0 in the item shop and we'll see you nerds on the live stream see ya